Hi ladies, it's Renee and it is time for Training Tip Thursday. And today I'm going to focus on the home party because I know we have a lot of new ladies on our team and I've had several of you ask me how to do a home party. <clears throat> so, home parties are my jam. I love a home party because you get to connect with people face to face and you get to have girl time and that's part of the reason that I love this job is because I get to get out and have girl time. It has also built my confidence level so much since I became a consultant and I feel like the home party has been a big part of that because you get out and you get to see other people and you get to interact with them and doing it on Facebook is a little bit different. Um, so I love the home party. So I'm just going to walk you through how a successful home party is run or how I do a, a successful home party. Um, and there's lots of different ways, so I will say there is no one-size-fits-all. Um, you have so many opportunities to find different styles on lots of different Facebook groups that you can join or that you maybe are already in. So the things that I share with you today are not the only way to do a party. There's lots of other ideas. Um, but the first thing I'm going to tell you is that I want you to get some kind of an organization binder for your parties. If you plan to do a lot of home parties, I have one here. Uh, it's called my Hostess and Party Binder. And I have in here my hostess coaching sheets, um, all of my party games that I play in one spot. That way when I go to the parties, I can just grab this and go. I have my hostess um, flyer so that I can show her at the end with, whenever I'm checking out um, what her hostess rewards level is. Um, and then I also have a spot in the back that has some of our... Um, opportunity information and so I can show her the kit and things like that. Um, then in the back I have a pocket that I can put extra order forms or sheets that I need to carry with me to the party. So in here I have two laminated forms that I use at every single party I do pretty much. Um, but I also usually have extra order forms in there. I just need to restock that because I have that empty right now. So um, just find a way that you can get organized and keep everything in one spot. So that's the first thing you want to do. Um, as you're preparing for a home party, you want to make sure that you have hostess packets made up ahead of time to take with you as well as opportunity um, packets because whenever you en encounter a lady that wants to book a party maybe the following month or someone that's thinking about joining your team, you want to send them home with information that night, not just you know follow up with them a while later. So you want to give them something that night while they're still really interested in doing it. Um, so make sure you have that made up ahead of time. Your invitation process might look a little bit different for a home party. You're going to want to send out a red stamp to your hostess so she can invite all of her friends via a text message or a Facebook message. Um, I also do mail invitations for my 12 VIP guests for each hostess. So I have her make a, a guest list of around 40 people that she wants to invite to her party and star 12 of those names as people that were going to get an, a VIP invitation from me in the mail. So it's just something fun because people still love to receive mail. And so if they can hang on the fridge, they're more likely to attend. So I have her think of those 12 people that she thinks are more than likely going to attend if they would receive a mail invitation. And then you're going to want to hostess coach her. Um, like I have trained in hostess coaching before, you know, to get outside orders, to get people to her party, getting them excited about doing that. Um, and then the home party begins. So I usually arrive about 20 minutes beforehand. Um, I don't really set up a big fancy display. I just kind of take my products out, set them around the room. I usually, if it's in a living room, I just like to make the living room look like it's all uh, 31 just vomited everywhere, okay? So I set it all around the room and on the tables and everywhere the guests are going to be seeing it just to kind of make everything's, you know, just mesh into the room. But I don't set up a big table and do a big display up front. I want this to look as duplicatable to my guests and my hostess as possible. That way if anybody's thinking about joining 31, they see how easy it is. So I only arrive about 20 minutes before the party begins. <clears throat> Excuse me. I begin my party by playing an icebreaker game. Icebreaker games help your guests to become comfortable with you and the other guests that are in attendance. So if they don't know everybody that's there, that might help them to be more comfortable with um, the, the new ladies that are at the party. One of my favorite icebreaker games to play is the left and right game. I actually have a zipper pouch that I embroidered with left and right. And so um, I have in here prizes. And I will just give you some ideas of the prizes that I have. I go to Target a lot and I see the, top, the, dar the dollar spot items. So I just have like cute cards that say, hey. I have um, little hello cards. I have this big chunky paper clip that I love using for my receipts on my desk. I have 
candy. Um, I have washi tape and I have nail files from Business Supplies. I have bookmarks from Business Supplies. Um, I have these little cute tags, like gift tags. Just fun stuff like that. We have these little notebooks on Business Supplies. So Business Supplies is a great place to get prizes. But I just have a, a bag full of prizes. I usually have a key fob in here as well. It must have been taken out in my last party, so I just need to restock this with a couple more things. Chocolate is a huge um, take for people at parties. They love chocolate. So anyways, I get in this couch, and I read a story. Well, it's kind of a story. Um, and you can find this on TOT, to my knowledge. It was on TOT last season anyway, so it's just called The Left Right Game. I hand this to a guest, and I tell her every time that I say the word left in my story, she passes the pouch to her left, and every time I say the word right, they pass it to their right. And so it just goes around the circle. Um, the Left Right Game includes some fun things about your hostess. It includes our 90-day satisfaction guarantee. It talks a little bit about our hostess program. It talks a little bit about my why, and then it talks about the business opportunity. So it kind of hits every point in this game. So while they're having fun, you're also dropping some seeds. That is one of the most fun games I play. There's lots of other ones in this uh, team page in my files. So um, one that I love to play is the farmer game. It's actually a Mad Lib game, and my customers love it. They're always laughing and howling at the end of the party or at the end of the game. And even if I um, have ladies that are a little bit more um, reserved and shy, I usually have them laughing till the end of the game because it's so funny. It's a Mad Lib game. They have to add words as I stop, um, and it's a lot of fun. Another one that I have loved playing is the uh, Pass the Gift game. It's kind of the same concept of the, the left and right game, but I just start with a little gift, and usually it's like a key fob or something like that. And as I say different things like for example um, the one says 31's mission is to encourage and recognize so give this gift to someone who has brown eyes and so then the person who has the key fob has to give it to somebody with brown eyes um, the next one is the virtuous wife the virtuous woman is proud of her married life please pass it now to the newest wife so just things that are fun like that um, so that's a fun one and that should be on the files as well there's a bunch of different ideas you can do for an icebreaker, but I usually start with an icebreaker because I want to get them comfortable with me and having fun at the party. Because it's a party, we want to make it fun. Okay, the next thing that I do then is I talk about my why. And to do this, I have what's called a why bag. And um, Cindy had done a video on this a long time ago about putting a bag together of things that are important to you and the reason that you started selling 31. So on my why bag, I have the gives heart because I love these things that are inside. And my very first why was because I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom whenever we had children. So I passed around a picture of my family with my boys. The next thing is um, I have my passport to party because I love getting to spoil my husband with free vacations. And so I passed around this picture of Chad and I in Mexico two years ago. And so that gets them thinking, oh, I would love to take my husband on a free vacation, right? So it shows them that there's a lot more to it than just selling bags. Then I pull out a bottle of nail polish and I say, the next thing I love about my job is that I get to have a little extra spending money for things that I'd like to do but maybe couldn't afford on our family budget. So maybe getting a pedicure or a massage or buying a new outfit or even helping somebody that is in need that might need some extra income for something that they're going through. And then the last thing I pull out is my fun little keys. And this is actually kind of fun because it has little sounds to it. Um, but I tell them that I have been saving up to help my husband replace his pickup truck for the last several years. And we were finally, um, we had enough money saved up that whenever our family vehicle needed to replace, instead of buying him a truck, we were able to replace our family vehicle without having to take hardly any, month, any of a loan out to cover that. And so I explain how it's nice to have that extra disposable income to save up for things like that on a rainy day whenever you need to replace a vehicle. Um, and usually you have to take out a pretty good sized loan to do that, but we, we didn't have to do that with my 31 income. So I talk about my why and the reason that I joined 31, and you don't want to be braggy about it, but you do want to tell them that it is changing your life and it does make a difference. After that, I usually play a game. Um, it's a three minute game. It's ask me anything about my job. And so I tell them that I want somebody to get a stopwatch, whether it be on their phone or their watch, and keep a timer for three minutes and in those three minutes they can ask me any question about the business um, and I just say not about the, my favorite product or my favorite print or how cute I am just to kind of make them laugh um, or 
anything like that, but I say, I want you to ask me about my job as a person and what I do. And so when the timer starts, they just start shooting questions at me. Every time they ask me a question, they get a ticket. I have a roll of tickets I take along. And um, then at the end of that game, I pull a winner for another prize. So they potentially have the opportunity to get prizes, both the first game and my Ask Me Anything game. The Ask Me Anything game is my opportunity seed. So I tell them about the enrollment kit and how they can do the same thing for just $99. After that, I go into my demo. And my demo, I only want it to last about 10, 15 minutes at the max. I don't want my guests to be getting bored with my presentation. Um, here again, there's so many different ways you can do it. Um, some of the most successful ways that I have found is just having my guests interact with me and do my presentation with me, not me talking at them. I want to get them involved and get them excited about the products. So something simple that you can do is just simply have them all come up and pick a product in the room that you have brought that they would love to take home with them that night if money was no object. And I just tell them, okay, everyone come up real quick and grab one product that you would like to take home with you today if money was no object. Take it back to their seat, and then I say, okay, now we're gonna go around the room and you're gonna tell me why you picked that product. And so they're helping me do my demonstration. And so we just go around the room and they talk about the product that they picked up and why they love it so much. More than likely, they're gonna sell their product that they're talking about to somebody else because they have a different way that they would use it. Go back in your room. Go. Go in your room. It doesn't matter if you're tired. Go. Easton. One, two, three, four, five. It's supposed to be quiet time. Um, the next thing that I have done and I have had a lot of success with is um got my paper. I don't even have a name for it, but I um, have ladies come up and I'll say, for example, uh, Christy, would you please come join me at the front? I'm gonna have you help me with my presentation. And as Christy comes up, I say, okay, we all know her as Christy, but today um, she's gonna have a different name and that name is On The Town Tina. And Tina likes to go shopping and likes to run out and just run errands and have fun um, finding local deals and whatever. And I'm going to give Tina a solution set that she's going to use for that um, on the town Tina. And so I hand her a hobo purse, a swap it pocket, and a Benjamin's wallet. And you can do this with whatever products you have and make up whatever names you want to. I just have uh, two solution sets just for you, two solution sets for your home, and two solution sets for your family. And um, this is actually in the files as well. So if you want to find it, you can. I have it listed as party presentation slash stacking guests idea. Um, so I have six different guests come up and they each talk about the solution set that I give them. They have a lot of fun with it. I get to see some potential and ladies that might be interested in becoming a consultant by how they talk about the products. It's just a fun way you can do it without me having to do a lot of the talking. Another one that I just recently started doing and I actually posted on here about it as well is the destination idea. Um, so just type in the search bar for destination party or whatever to see if it comes up. Um, but I take all these envelopes and I put different destinations that ladies go pretty often um, in here. And I cut them up and put one piece in each envelope. So this one here says I am going grocery shopping. Um, there was actually a 31 minute call done on this particular game three weeks ago I think by Lori Martin. So if you are interested in learning how to do this one, just go onto the uh, TOT under learn, 31 minute calls, um, call archive, I think it's called, or whatever, where there's stored and you can go back and watch them later and then look for the Lori Martin video. And she talks all about how to do this and it's so much fun and she'll do a much better job than I will. But every lady gets a card of where she's going, um, the destination she's going, and then she has to go get products that she's going to use to go to her destination. And the other guests have to guess where she's going. So it's kind of fun. It's like a guessing game, but they also get to show which products they would use for those destinations. Those are my three most popular party types that I do for my demo. I don't do a lot of the talking. I like to have my guests do it for me. And then I will, after they're done, if there's a couple products that I usually... Um, want to talk about or that I want to make sure that they see like the Benjamin's wallet or the large utility tote or things like that. Fresh Market Thermal is some of my favorites. I will then just share a couple of my favorites or maybe the new summer stuff if they didn't, if no one picked those up. 
Um, so that would be your demonstration, and like I said, 10 to 15 minutes max. And then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get your ladies to wanna book a party with you. And so I do what's called hostess stacking. And here again, I have this in the files, so go find it. I'm gonna stack one lady, one of the guests, with products that she would that she would hypothetically get with her hostess rewards. And so um, my average party is $600, and so I have one person volunteer to come up, or I pick somebody if I think they're fun, and I say, we're gonna pretend that Sarah is our hostess for the night, and my average hostess gets $100 in free products, two half-price items, two hostess exclusives, and the hostess special. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like in real life products. And so I stack her with those items. And so I have this already figured up for you in the files, um, depending if you have these products on hand, but you can make it to be whatever you have, especially those of you that are brand new, you could use this with your kit products. So just figure out the value of the products and what they would get with their rewards. Um, at the end of stacking Sarah with her $600 party um, rewards, I tell my guests the value of these products is $463. What do you think she's going to pay for it as a $600 party hostess? And so they guess, and the answer is $139. So it's like a $330 savings. Pretty awesome, right? Then I tell them, that's not all. I have a hostess at least once a month, if not more, reach the $1,200 party level, which at that level she gets all of her hostess exclusives for free. So she gets $250 worth of free products, three free exclusives, and all she pays for is her half price items and her hostess special. And so I then stack her with all of those items. And then at the end of that, I tell them the value is $709, and then I ask them to guess how much she would pay for it. And the answer is $73. So right there is a $620-some dollar savings. It's amazing. And they're all like, oh my word. And then I, I hold up the hobo purse and I say, ladies, $73 for all of this as a hostess of a $1,200 party or 70, I think it's $78 for the hobo bag as a customer tonight. So basically it's the same price, it's just difference in quality or quantity of product and usually their mouths drop. So hostess stacking can really get people off the fence to host a party with you if they're thinking about hosting. That usually drops them over the edge um, for wanting to host a party. So I do hostess stacking in place of a booking game you can do a booking game if you want, like roll the dice and uh, pick the prize out of the purse or whatever. I know some of you have had much success with that. And I used to do a booking game, but I was finding that some of the ladies that were booking parties with me only did it because they got whatever was in their thing that they pulled out that said book a party. And I want hostesses who really want to do the party. And so I just make it a point to ask every single guest at checkout if they want to book a party with me. And I say, you had so much fun tonight. It seemed like you would just love to get together with your girlfriends. Let's mark you down for a date in like, say, a month or two and see what they say about that. Um, but you can play a booking game if you would like to try it. I have had a lot of success with the envelope booking game, and that one should be in the files as well. Um, and that one, they get a product out of my stash if they choose to book a party with me. So um, most times they hold their end of the deal and have the party because they want the product. But they don't get the product till their party is held. Okay, so after I do my hostess stacking, the next thing I do is I explain the catalog. And so I have them all, I hand them all their lap boards at that point. I do not give them their catalogs until the end of my presentation because I want their full attention up to that point. So I hand out all the catalogs and whatever I have in my folders to them. And I just open the catalog and I say everything from page 1 to page 31, ironically, is um, just pictures of how you can use the products. So it's staged to show you how to use the products. And then I say starting at page 32 is what's called our shopping guide. And our shopping guide has every product that we carry and every print that it comes in. So for example, the large utility tote on page 32 is available in all of these prints. If you are wanting it in the navy doodle dot, unfortunately it does not come in that print. So it's only the ones that are shown. And then I tell them everything is, is located in the back of the catalog that we carry. There is also an online only um, section that people can order from and there is actually a PDF that you can print out of the online only products and so I have that printed out and laminated and I hand that around the group as well so they can see those online only products. Um, then I show them the jewelry, the embroidery options, I explain the embroidery options, how much it costs, what it looks like on the bags, the prints, or not the prints, the uh, thread colors, the font styles, and then the suggestion guide. So if you are new, get to know your catalog, the pillows, and then again, the hostess rewards, and I show them the hostess exclusives over here. 
And then I say, and the last thing is I had offered you the opportunity earlier when I talked about my, my why. If you are interested in any information about this, please ask me for a think about a packet whenever you check out tonight. So my whole party, I want it to last about 30 minutes max. Like I said, I don't want them to get bored or be like, okay, when is she going to be done? Um, and I want to focus on my full service checkout. So your full service checkout, you're going to want to spend individual time with each customer and go through their um, wish list and what they really want and if they want embroidery on their items and if they want to bump up to qualify for the next customer special. I forgot to mention, I do focus on the customer special in my demonstration. So I make sure I, if I have them, I take the products with me and I, I point out that you can get these for example of this month, $15 when you spend $35. And make sure I pass it around so the ladies can see how great of a deal that is. Um, but at the full service checkout, I want to make sure that I can qualify her for at least one, if not two or more specials because that's where your sales really start to come in. So I focus individual time for each customer, ask them about booking a party or offering the booking a party. Um, and that's about it for the home party. So if you guys have any questions, um, please comment below and I will be sure to answer as I get a chance. Um, Eva, good luck with your party. That's exciting. Um, I think you pretty much have the home party down because you've had some amazing home parties, but I know there's always things you can learn along the way. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions, and thank you for joining me for Training Tip Thursday.